Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Korean Atlanta Mentorship. And in this video, we're just going to do a quick velocity banking review. Okay, and we're almost at 2,000 subs. It's crazy. And we've been making about $230 a month on just on ad revenue alone. Um, so really excited to, to be here. And one other thing before we actually get started is that um, there's going to be an exclusive live stream tomorrow for members. So if you go to the community feed, you can see a little bit about it uh, right here. So it's going to be about leadership March 30th, 6 p.m. tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern for members only. So if you want to view or have access to the recording of the live stream, it's really easy. You just simply click the join button right here. 99 cents per month. You get these badges and you have exclusive access to the live streams. All right, well, let's get started <laughs> for the topic of today, which is just another velocity banking review. We're just going to learn how to quickly pay down debt. And it's really easy because, um, you know, all you got to do is just put your paycheck into your line of credit and then expenses out. And um, I've been posting this because I was just like looking like I was like, dang, dang, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is my latest HELOC statement where the last balance was about $37,000. Put in all my income, and this includes my uh, YouTube ad revenue here, so I have several sources of income, but you take a look at this, $237 a month. That's included here in my line of credit whenever I it, Google pays me every single month, and then I have other sources of income, rental income, other types, blah, 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 blah. I take the money out for all my bills, and then um, I just rinse and repeat over and over again, right? And I'll be honest, I had no idea I had this much cash flow. You know, sometimes you have your, you're just grinding, you have your head under the water, and it's like, dude, I can't believe I have $9,000, over $9,000 of cash flow. Like, couldn't believe it, right? And then, you know what it made me think about? It made me think about the scene from Friday, this one right here. It's been a long time since I've seen Friday, and I don't like to cuss, right? But I, I do like to show this because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with uh, velocity banking. So to do velocity banking, it's relatively easy, right? Because all you need is two things. You need a budget, and I, I think I did most of it. Oh, I forgot this one. So basically, you put your income, your expenses, all your debts, because this is a debt payoff strategy, and every debt is a hole in your cash flow bucket, and we're trying to patch up the holes, right? And so here, uh, let's go ahead and figure out what a 30 student loan for 35000 at 4% would be. So what we do is we go to a loan amortization calculator. So we could just go to calculator.net loan amortization. And then let's go here, right? And we just type in the, the details. And this is how I get the payments because that's the most important thing because the payments are essentially your hole in your bucket. So let's say that we have a 4% loan for 10 years, because that's how much a student loan is supposed to uh, last, 354.36. <laughs> so 354.36, okay. And let's say we're able to buy a home. Now here's here's the cool part of this. It's kind of similar to what I do. I don't have cars. I've never bought a new car. And so those are all hand-me-downs. So right now, I drive a Camry from like the early 2000s and I might have to get a new car soon, but let's just assume this person just drives a hand-me-down, right? Like, you know, you, do you need a new car? Maybe your parents gifted you one, but we're not going to have a car loan, right? But we're going to pay off and let's go ahead and calculate this. So it's 5 plus 7 plus 10 plus 35 plus 200. We're going to pay off $257,000 of debt. K of debt, okay? Pay off $257,000 of debt with Velocity Banking. And all Velocity Banking is is using lines of credit as your main tool to pay off debt. That's all it is, right? And so some for a lot of people, this might be a really good budget because the average American doesn't have more than $400 in savings in their account, from my understanding. So if we're at $1,800, we know how to uh, make our expenses um, uh kind of decrease them reasonably, right? You don't want to waste your money. Like I'm wasting my money right now on a movie subscriptions of unlimited movies and it's like 20 something dollars a month, right? I probably should cancel it because to be honest, most movies uh, this past year have been quite bad. 
like Madam Web. Like I watched it, I was like, what 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 am I doing <laughs> with my with my time watching movies like that? So I gotta probably cancel that. But let's just assume two things. Um same income, no savings. And this is the hardest part for most people when they're doing velocity banking, just the fact that there's absolutely nothing in their checking or savings account. Okay? Because we're gonna make our line of credit as our main tool. Okay? So this is what we're gonna do now. Let's just assume that we have access to something called a line of credit. And all line of credit is a financial tool where you could borrow money, pay it back, and use it over and over again. Right? That's all a line of credit is. Okay. So there's different types. A credit card is like the most well known line of credit, but people are kind of reckless with them, right? They make minimum payments, they spend a lot of money, you know, they're racking up high interest rate charges, and then they're wondering where did my cash flow go? So we have this person has three credit cards, about twenty two thousand dollars of debt. And you could hear people like this all the time in Dave Ramsey show where they got I'll call this credit card debt and don't know how to pay it off. Now Dave will never say use a line of credit as your main tool. Actually I have heard him say it once when someone didn't pay their taxes. I remember like there's a video on Dave Ramsey's channel where it's like the one exception that Dave Ramsey says it's okay to borrow money and that was actually one person who didn't pay his quarterly taxes and uh, I don't know if it was like an accountant screw up but he said like yeah you can use a line of credit to pay it and then just pay off the line of credit. So I guess that is velocity banking, isn't it? <laughs> but all right, so now let's go ahead and copy some of these expenses and let's assume that we have access to I don't know, $25,000 personal line of credit, right? That's your available limit. So think of it as a credit card, but not really, but you can pay anything, right? With a credit card you can't pay anything. That's why services like Plastic exist to help facilitate uh payments with credit cards, right? But let's just assume here that we have a $25,000 um, line of credit available, right, which we can use to pay anything. And we're going to just do this. First things with the credit cards, that's the one we want to pay off. They take up the most cash flow and are the high, highest interest. So we want to do, just do a simple debt transfer. So this is $22,000 of credit card debt, 22000, right? And then what happens when we do that? This goes to zero, this goes to zero, this goes to zero. So look how our expenses magically decrease without making more money. And then now we have our cash flow, which is 5,500 our income minus 2,928. And look how that magically went from 1,800 to $2,572, right? Because when we put our entire paycheck into that line of credit, that payment for the line of credit doesn't really matter anymore. We just take our expenses out. And that's exactly what I'm doing right here. Paycheck in, expenses out, we get charged a little bit of interest, and then we have our new balance, right? That's what we're doing here. Same exact thing. I'm not doing, I am doing, or I'm showing you exactly what I'm doing, right? I'm teaching you, but here's the thing. I don't give you advice because your situation would be different, but I am showing you what it is that I'm doing, right? With the Excel spreadsheet. The concept, the basic concept at least. So paycheck in, expenses out, and let's go ahead and make those calculations. And then what we're going to do is calculate the previous month's or the next month's balance, which is the previous month's balance plus the previous month's interest minus 2572, right? And then what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and take the average daily balance. That's how the interest is calculated. Um, if you don't know how bank, banks calculate their interest, go ahead and call them and they will tell you, right? Go, go ahead and call them and they'll tell you, we'll assume this is a 15% personal line of credit and then you divide by 12 and I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste these formulas and look how easy it is, right? We paid this off in about nine months, oh my goodness, or 10 months, right? So easy. Oh my goodness. How easy was that? I can't believe it. Mind blown right? Mind blown. Okay, so now that we've covered that, we just got the right to milestones to keep track of our progress. So in 10 months, we paid off 22k of debt, right? 22k of debt with the average household income, right? I think two people, they make about 30 to 40 grand a, a, a year. So if you combine that, that's like 60 to 80 grand. I think this is less than 100 I think $100,000 uh 
uh, a, a year, the net income, or not the net cut, the after tax income is about six thousand a month. So if you put six thousand, that's a hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, now next, let's attack the student loan. Right? We got to figure out after ten months how much of the student loan is uh, what's the balance, and it's probably not going to be that much, right? But let's go ahead and check. So we have this amortization calculator here, and then um, go ahead and put 10 months. Okay, so 32 grand. So 32 grand here. We just go ahead and copy that. And when you're dealing with um, amortized loans with lower interest rates in general, unless the loan has a significant statement or a balance to payment ratio, you probably don't want to put the whole thing in the line of credit because this is how you got to think about amortized loans, right? Or just debt in general. Would you pay off $200,000 just to only get $1,000 back, right? In fact, it might be easier just to make an extra thousand, right? Learn how to reduce your taxes, make more money. And that's just probably the same as making $200,000, right? And it's probably easier to do that than it is to uh, pay off $200,000 of debt and just focus on the mortgage. But again, the mortgage in general is the last debt we want to pay off. Okay. So now let's go ahead and um, pay this off using something called incremental payoff or chunking, meaning that you're just going to move parts of this to the line of credit. Okay, we'll just say same amount as your income. And luckily, we have a velocity banking calculator for that where we just put in the information, right? So what we're going to do is just uh, put in this information here. What was the original balance? It's uh, $35,000. $35, what is the current balance, which is uh, 32587.11? What's the interest rate? I believe I always have to go back and forth because I have a memory of a fish. Uh, four percent for ten years, and the payment amount is three five four point three six, three five four point three six. Okay, so now, what is our line of credit? Uh, how much are we going to move to our line of credit? Let's just make it the same as our income, five thousand five hundred, and then our line of credit interest rate is fifty percent. Five thousand five hundred is our income, and then we include. Um, all of our expenses except for the loan we're trying to pay off, right? So it's these two, okay? And um, all right, so let me go ahead and sum this up. So that's going to be some of this and this, okay? So 2573.64, 2573, 2573.64. And here's the thing you might be asking, where did I get this calculator from? And this calculator is actually from Renatus, where I first learned velocity banking. And I'm a student of Renatus, and I actually sell their products as an independent contracted marketer. So if you're interested in getting this calculator, hey, I'll sell this to you. <laughs> got to pay, got to pay me money. I might get some commission. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, but it's really cool because it actually calculates everything for you. Just type, you know, type it in. Um, so now we see that it took us one year to pay off uh, the student loan. Wow, only one year. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's pretty quick. All right, so then the 12 plus 10, that's 22 months. And then that'll be 35 plus 22, which is 57K. 57K. Oh, my goodness. Mind blown. All right, so now all we do is focus on the mortgage, right? Just do the same thing, put in that information. We got to figure out at 22 months what that balance is. So, again, let's just put in that information here, $200,000. And maybe we could just use a home equity line of credit and get better rates. I don't know. So this is going to be, what's the interest rate? It's going to be about, did I put 5%? I don't remember. Again, I have a memory of a fish. 5%. So whoopsie. 5%, 30 years. And then, <laughs> all right. So let's take a look here at um, 20, no, 22 months, 22 months. So 22 months, $194,000, copy and paste. Just do it over, over again. And now I just got to copy the info. Oh, my goodness, it's so easy, right? So now let's go ahead and just put this in, $200,000. Uh, what's the current balance? It's going to be 194 something blah, 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 blah. I, I love this calculator because it's such an easy copy and paste job. 
and doing th like working with mortgages and amortized loans that have low payment amounts and huge uh, what's it called balances is a no bueno or it's harder right and you know a lot of people say why don't you just put your extra cash into that loan that's because when you overpay a loan you never get the money back right you you don't and it, that, that's the beauty of using a line of credit because it prevents uh, segregation of income, which we haven't got, gone over. And you, it's just basically the same thing as overpaying the loan and you have access to your money, right? That's how, that's why I love using the strategy. And again, if it's not for you and you think it's stupid, um, you should look at the statistics about how many people actually pay off their 30 year mortgage in 30 years, which is almost nobody. So, all right, the payment amount is 107.3. And the reason why they, they don't is because they have cash flow management problems and so when they get a letter from the bank about refinancing, they're like, okay, I'll do it. And then I'll take out equity too and not use it for productive uses. And then wonder why it takes 50 something years to pay off the home, right? You'll probably be dead. Uh, but that's, that's another story. And that's how you actually find real estate deals too. 107.364. So let me just 5,500. Yeah. So it's everything except for the mortgage, which is 1,500. I put that here. And then, bam, 4.6 years. Oh, my goodness. This is too easy. All right. So now, uh-oh, my screen blacked out. It always does this once in a while when I use the web version of Excel. But all we got to do is equals 22 divided by 12. That's 1.8 years. So it's 1.8 plus. Uh-oh, uh did my calculator go a little bit crazy? I think it did. I think my, my computer is uh, 4.6. Okay, 1.8 plus 4.6. Whoopsie, 4.6. 6.4 years to be debt free. Oh my goodness. And then that's 257,000 or debt paid off. And we're not, we didn't even go to medical school. You know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine how much worse it must be for a doctor because, like, you pay for so much to keep the status symbols like a BMW, a $600,000 house. And so that income to debt ratio just kind of skyrockets. And here's the thing. If I ever see a doctor with a new truck, I'm going to think, man, that guy's either a baller or in debt, right? Because new trucks are essentially like the new BMWs of the auto world. Like those trucks, I don't know how they find people to pay like – 70 to 80 to 90 thousand dollars for a new truck like what what world are we in right but yeah okay well that's it for today another velocity banking uh review you know always love to practice every single day and they always say that the progress the incremental progress that you have makes a big difference and go ahead and create your own spreadsheets right follow it pause the video do whatever it is and also if you're interested in um joining our live stream tomorrow 6 p.m eastern be a member only 99 cents just join this 99 cents now if you're actually interested in joining our group go ahead and click the google form link below now i'm going to be honest i'm going to make some changes i think soon regarding that form because i might make it a paywall because uh you know too many people they submit the form and then like i respond and i love reaching out to people no matter um what income bracket you're in i mean to me, making money isn't really – I already have plenty of it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you take a look at this, you already know like, oh, I got plenty of money. So the only reason I charge people is not because I need your money. It's because you don't wait, I don't want you to waste my time, right? Like if you look at other people's um, uh, websites and stuff, they got paywalls up the wazoo. And the reason why they have that is not necessarily because they're greedy. It's because they don't want people wasting their time, right? All right. Well, again, uh, I got to make the changes soon. But if you're interested in joining our group, go ahead and click the Google form link below. On that, have a great day, and we will speak next time.